Lesson 4 Grammar. Welcome to this grammar note section. We are joined by Johan Zarvik once again. Welcome. Pleased to be with you again. Let's enjoy the Setswana. Yes, let's teach our listeners some Setswana. The first question I have is the difference between kwa, ko, and mo. If, if I say that I come from Johannesburg, yes. I would say ketswa kwa gauteng. Okay. It's much further than if I say Kitswa mo Pochevstrom. I I come here from Pochevstrom. The way I understand it is kwa means there. That's it. And mo means here. It depends on the meaning of the sentence again also. The context will determine. The context will be determined. Okay. But also ko means there. Okay. What, what happens is if you take the written language. Yes. You will have uh, kwa. Okay, so it's that's ac- academically correct. Academically correct, okay. you'll say kwa. But if if people are speaking Setswana and they are speaking faster and it's just the, the spoken kind of street Setswana, yes. they will say ketswa ko gauteng. Okay. So uh, ko gauteng and kwa gauteng, is, the meaning is exactly the same. I come from gauteng. That's 100%, yes. Now, another question is, to me... As an English Afrikaans speaker, it seems that some words get lost in translation because what you're literally saying is, I come there, Gauteng. Or is that incorrect? Ke, ke kwa Gauteng. Okay. I come there from, from, from Johannesburg. All right, so, so there from or from there is implied in this little word, kwa. In, in that kwa. Or ko. Uh, yeah, the ko and answer. the kwa is exactly the same meaning. Now, if I live in Portchestrum and I'm speaking to someone and I say... I live here in Pochestrum. It's ke na mo. Ke na mo tlokwe. Okay. Ke uh, dula mo tlokwe. Okay. No, that so that's, that's, that's the mo. The, the mo is more in and uh, uh, close to you. Okay. Oh, I understand. So depending on the context, the mo can mean in or here. That's 100%. You, okay. you, you can also use it when... when Talking about something that is inside. Okay. So I, it, it implies I stay inside Pochevstrom. What I noticed was just the noun for city is Toropo. Toropo, yes. Okay. So if you use it in a sentence explaining the place, mm-hmm. it becomes Mo Toropong. That's in the town. That's very interesting. So for instance, uh, the, the word for Johannesburg. Uh, you you have Gauta. Gauta is, is gold. Oh, that's right. So the place of gold becomes Mo Gauteng. Oh, I understand. So you see the Gauta, when you add the NG, it changes a bit yes. to Gauteng. Okay. So it's Mo Gauteng. But it, it, uh, if you use it quite a lot and like it has been used for ages now, that noun with the locative ng became the place name Gauteng. Yes, that's how we as Afrikaans English speakers know it as Gauteng. But now we understand actually what's happening. That's, with, that's the that locative, yes. What is the word for farm? When you use it in South Africa, they, they, they borrowed it from plas. Okay. And it becomes polase. 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 So if I were to say I live... On a farm, would I say ke na mo polaseng? A hundred percent. You Is are correct. Correct. Okay. Mo polaseng. So if if you stay on the farm, you say you, you see the on mo polaseng. Yes. But if the farm is very far, yes, you can even say kidula kwa polaseng. There at the farm. I understand. Well, you use dula, which also means sit, but. In this context, it means I live there on a farm. And once again, the there from or there is implied or there on. On, yes. There on a farm is implied within this little word, qua or ko. So this is the way I understand it. When location is involved with a noun, you have to add this ng. And it's not necessarily only when you live in a place. Is it safe to say that when you add a preposition to this noun, it has to have this ng ending? For instance, on the table at the farm, 
um, from the city, then yeah, you add this. That's ending. the general rule. Okay. Mm. All right. There, there are different things that that are added later on, which we can get to later on. Okay. When you use other words like uh, like on top of, uh, underneath, okay. or next to. Okay. Then then it changes a bit. All right. But we'll get to that. Yes, one. we'll get into that later. Well, thank you so much for having joined us once again, Mr. Zadrik. I hope you have found this grammatical note section useful, and I hope you can start. Um, putting these sentences together by yourself. We'll see you next week. Hofikela nako eetlang. Take it slow and step by step before you know you're ready to go. Say yeah.